from TMZ.com. You know I love the gossip website. NYPD poisoned milkshakes. Cop brass behind conspiracy theory reportedly made it up. <laughs>about all these other things like all, right now we we covered the story last week you know that there were uh, you know, uh, these three young black people in i think it was the atlanta area who allegedly followed cops home and set their cruisers on fire in their driveways and it's like yeah uh, well well they got revenge for all of the times those cops arrested them for victimless crimes and all they did was destroy government property they didn't even hurt anybody um, I, I wonder, like, if all of these uh, accusations against black activists now are lies. I mean, what do the police do? They lie. The police lie, lie, lie over and over again. They are legally protected from accountability for, the, from their, for their lies. You got to know, talking to police on the street, there's nothing that says they can't lie to you legally and get away with it. They have no consequence for lying to you. If it's in pursuit of their job, which might be to arrest people who are innocent for victimless crimes. NYPD brass reportedly cooked up a story about officers getting poisoned at Shake Shack because the trio of cops who complained about a funny taste in their milkshakes never even got sick. The cops in the middle of the poisoned milkshake conspiracy were not targeted by rogue police hating Shake Shack workers as the New York City Detectives Endowment Association would have you believe. According to the New York Post, the three officers from the Bronx were on protest duty in lower Manhattan when they ordered the shakes. Mind you, the cops used a mobile app to order the drinks, which were packaged and waiting pickups. So employees wouldn't have even known the shakes were for cops. Oh, geez, so this whole conspiracy falls apart right away, doesn't it? The worst thing that happened to the cops was reportedly a bad taste in their mouths after gorging on the shakes. So they tossed them and alerted a Shake Shack manager who said sorry and made good with vouchers for free food and drink, which the officers accepted. Now, this is how many times do you have just like petty abuses of power like this? You know, if the average customer goes into a business and says, hey, uh, the shake tasted funny. Can, can can you do, can you give me another one? Okay, we'll get you another one. If a cop goes into that same establishment, oh shoot, yes sir, we'll get you. Uh, we'll get you vouchers, coupons, more food and drink. Oh yes, we are so so sorry, sir. Please don't arrest us. Please don't. I mean, they don't have to say that because that's the subtext. Oh, please don't announce an international news story of a conspiracy that's going to really met well in this case shake shack i don't know right in this day and age oh shake shack is poisoning cops i don't know people might want to go eat there and support poisoning god no no but what does this do this is bad for business you know please don't mess up our business. like i i wouldn't be surprised if a lot of businesses just now are going to say from now on no no police officers you know no, nobody nobody armed on duty here you know, an op, like you know, if and this could just be, you know, a, a simple business practice. Like w when it becomes unprofitable to let police in your establishment, and there's some places where you go, hey, cops come in, it deters crime. Okay, great. But overall, police are the bigger criminals. And I mean, I, if if Chaz Chop can ban cops from their little autonomous zone, why can't a business say, yeah, I'm banning cops from my business? As customers, obviously, you can do that now. Probably get away with it. Now, can you ban them as uh, tax collectors? Enforcements for the IRS? Uh, if only we could get to that. But can we can we start just saying, yeah, we don't no no police on duty at this place of business? I mean, it's a liability now. And this is you know I, I love watching a criminal organization eat its own tail. You know, and, and police in, in kind of a, I don't want to say death spiral. That would certainly be an exaggeration. But they're trying, what, what was this conspiracy an attempt to do? They weren't trying to tank Shake Shack. Like, it, they, don't, they don't really care. Um, they're trying to get 
people to be sympathetic towards cops. They're trying to make it, oh, yeah, you have such a hard job. You go out and face, you know, a public that hates you every day is willing to poison. They go, they go so far as to poison you, it's, it's Shake Shack. No, sorry. Made up. And so when it's when that's revealed, what does that do? It makes you less sympathetic to the police. At least it should. According to the report, things got hairy when the cops told their sergeant about the stakes, and the sergeant sent the emergency service unit to set up a crime scene at Shake Shack for an evidence search some two hours after the cops first said. Meanwhile, the cops were rushed to Bellevue Hospital where they were reportedly examined and sent on their merry way without ever showing the slightest of symptoms. At the same time, a lieutenant from the Bronx fired off an email to the police unions falsely claiming six officers started throwing, and here's a quote, started throwing up after drinking beverages they got from Shake Shack on 200 Broadway. Detectives were put on the case, but it was apparently pretty easy to solve after reviewing surveillance footage, and interviewing five employees. The report says video show the shakes were normally made. No poison or funny business. It would have been enough in the investigation to say, well, the drinks were ordered online. You didn't get their names or status that they were officers. You couldn't have known. Of course, you know, and uh, there's so many, but now if someone did this to you, now the who who the heck is this? Now I'm I want this. I want your name. I want his badge. I want his guy. I want this guy. Oh, this guy should be fired. Who is this lieutenant from the Bronx just took the story and lied? Who do, like who still does this? Do do people not know that we live in the information age when there's there's a record of well, you can just lie and assume that. No one's going to find out. Why does this guy still have a job? And they go, why does this system still have any credibility? The reason for the bad taste seems to have been from a commonly used cleaning solution that wasn't thoroughly rinsed off the milkshake machine. But for some reason, the mounting evidence of a big nothing burger didn't stop the New York City Detectives Endowment Association from declaring cops were, quote, intentionally poisoned by one or more shake workers at the Shake Shack and fell ill. And the evidence or lack thereof didn't stop Police Benevolent Association President Pat Lynch from making a show of visiting the cops in the hospital at the same time his union claimed police were under attack from a toxic substance believed to be bleach. The since deleted social media messages initially spread like wildfire, causing the burger joint to trend overnight and birthing the hashtag Boycott Shake Shack hashtag, which is still being tweeted by accounts. I'm reminded of uh, Mark Twain. A lie can tra travel halfway around the world while the truth is just putting on its shoes. The truth is there was nothing to report here except lying, duplicitous cops who are so hell-bent on their Trumpian ego defense that they carelessly savage a private business with thousands of employees supporting real families. And they're able to get away with it because of the authority of the police that they don't deserve. NYPD Chief of Detectives Rodney Harrison finally tweeted eight hours after the alleged incident that there was no criminality and it was all much ado about nothing, literally nothing zipped, not with egg on their face. The police unions eventually deleted their tweets and put out statements walking back their claims. The city council has demanded a probe into alleged inflammatory behavior by the police unions and the NYPD says it's still reviewing the incident. I really hope that Shake Shack is is able to sue here. Not that I'm, you know, any fan. I don't think I've ever even been to a Shake Shack, but now I want to go. Not because, oh, they're hurting police, because obviously they're not, uh, but because they're victims of police at this point. Am I going to suggest 
Yeah. Uh, unboycott Shake. Hashtag. Yeah. You know what? Hashtag unboycott Shake Shack. There you go. You want to be a part of this? There's your hashtag. And more importantly, man, I, you know, cops are supposed to protect corporate interests. In this case, they may have failed in a way that will bring real accountability. Real accountability comes when the people realize that the only story to report on nationally is not that people hate the cops, but that people hate the cops for good reason. Thank <laughs> you.